You got KFC and they're serving coffee. I mean, and maybe I've just missed it. I missed the trend there in the United States, but Kentucky Fried Chicken, I mean, who, who says, you know, honey, I'm getting a hankering for some, uh, for some chicken and coffee. I wonder if they got a caramel macchiato and uh, we'll get the hot and spicy wings. What do you think, honey? Three, four. Hey guys, Patrick Freeman here in Chongqing, China. Actually, I'm not in Chongqing, I'm in Guangzhou, which is about an hour and a half south of uh, Chongqing. This is our second video that we produced on our two-day trip while in Guangzhou. This is right after my Canton Tower visit, which is my most recent uploaded video. This is right after that where I head to Dian Dudo, which is a world-famous dim sum restaurant. It was unbelievable. If you're an expat or if you're visiting Guangzhou, you got to try this place out. I mean, it is unbelievable. So having said that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you know when new videos are uploaded. Enjoy. So. Uh, this is, you say you have how many restaurants? See, what, this is this is what happens when I don't have Tway Tway with me because she makes everything easy. So this is how a foreigner, raw, no translation, no nothing, survives and orders food. What I actually had uh, Tway Tway do for me is send me some screenshots. Uh, she's actually at home. I'm here by myself. She sent me some screenshots of some food to eat at this dim sum place, which is supposed to be, she says, world famous but maybe just regional famous here. I'll do some more research and I'll put it at the bottom here so you guys can check it out. But uh, she says it's really good. So uh, it's actually really close to the hotel that I'm staying at. Uh, today I went to the, uh, as you saw from the last video, uh, went to Canton, our Canton uh, Tower, which is just an unbelievable place to visit. I was there for like four or five hours, sweated my butt off, came, went back to the hotel, took a nap, and now I'm eating some dim sum per request of Peter Farnsworth, MV Lack. Try, he says, try the roast goose. I don't know if they have it here. You may have been talking about somewhere else. Maybe I'll try that for lunch tomorrow. And then I got, uh, oh, Dragonfly. Dragonfly says, please show us dim sums in the best dim sum restaurant in Guangzhou. Well, I think I'm here, at least according to Tsui Tsui. Trevor Norman says go to the Beijing Road. I might do that tomorrow, buddy, if I have time. I think he may have mentioned it in his uh, suggestion, and of course, Peter Farnsworth. So this is all for you guys uh, for commenting. Uh, and like I said, I got Tway Tway to order me, uh, send me uh, some orders, or not orders, but I got Tway Tway to send me some pictures of what I should order to make it easy on me. So I'll give them a picture, and they're all laughing at me right now because I'm sitting here talking to myself. I'm really talking to you, but in the past for the future. So let's get started. I'm going to order it right now, real quick. All right. Just to share my means of. Sadie Zen Jin Chen Du. How do I? How true? How true? How true? Okay, so what's your name? I want that. Jugga, 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 Jugga. Jugga, Jugga, Jugga. Means of Jugga. Hong Mi Chang, Jin Sa Hong Mi Chang. All right, so she's, she's recommending something else here. Uh, uh, you want this one? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the word for uh, for full. Uh, Chabala. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. How? How? Yeah. Uh, 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 huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yao Qing Li. Yao Qing Li. Yao Qing Li. All right. 
So, she she Yao Jing Li. All right, how? Wait. She's going to go order it. So, yeah. This is how a guy who's been here for 2 years orders dim sum in a city that he's never traveled to. Got myself a beer. And you can't you don't order the beer from the uh, the waitress. You actually go to this little cooler and I'll show you a picture of it later, but you go to this little cooler and you scan your WeChat and it identifies your phone and then it asks you what you want. And it's got this little dispenser of water, beer, etc. And uh, so I chose this beer. It came uh, Chinese tea. Chinese tea. Uh. Green tea, red tea. Uh Hongsa? Hongsa tea? Hong Hongsa? Not today. Oh. Pure tea. What's uh. about? I don't know that. And then we got a chrysanthemum tea. Mayola. Oh, it doesn't have a name. Okay. Me try the name. Just is some how cool. How cool. Okay, I'll try that one. Okay. I don't know what she said, but the, the it, she sold it to me by the way she looked at me. So she's gonna prepare it for me. Hold on. So she's clean. They, they do this a lot. They, uh, this is how they clean out their uh, their cups. So they've got boiling water, they pour it in there and they pour it out. We do this quite often when we go eat uh, hot pot. So that's how they clean it. It's got a little, it's got a little tea cup holder. It's like a whole art to this thing. There we go. All right. Well, let me turn it around. Tell you how this tea, chrysanthemum tea. I was looking for the uh, the package, but it's good. I'm not. You know, I'm a Texas boy, so I'm not a big tea drinker except sweet tea, and that's there's not a lot of that here. But uh, the tea's good. This is better. In fact, let me open it. You know, one thing I've learned to do here, whenever I drink beer here in China, whether it's a can or a, uh, a bottle, I always clean off the top with a little disinfectant white because uh, they store them a little bit differently here than we would expect. So I just clean off the top. Really good, there we go. Clean my hands too while I'm at it. I'm excited, I'm really excited. I hate being by myself though. You know, just there's, there's something with that Tsui Tsui here and Guo Guo here and the dynamics that that creates. But you know, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun, guys. I came in for, to go to the, uh, the consulate, the US consulate, because the one in Chengdu shut down. And so I had to book a flight to come here to actually work on some visa stuff. In addition to that, Toy Toy and I are gonna get married, which I'm sure, I think a lot of people thought we were married, but we, we aren't married. We wanna get married. And so I have to do a little paperwork for the Chinese government uh, to make that official. Uh, we won't be married like today. I'll just get the, the paperwork that they require, go back down to Chongqing, and then uh, probably in October sometime we're gonna get married, so that is, Today's big news, so cheers to everyone. Life is good, life is good, I can't complain. If I did, nobody would listen, right? That's usually the way it is. But today's been great. It, the problem is, and, and somebody brought it up on, uh, when I posted my trip coming out here, they said two days is not long enough, and you're definitely right, it's not long enough. It's kind of like Chongqing. I've been in Chongqing for almost two years now. I still have not even, hit the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I haven't gone below that because there's so many things to do in Chongqing. And this city, population-wise, is a lot bigger. It's about 15 million. Chongqing, I'm gonna make a, a uh, Chongqing has 33 million people in it. That's, that's the whole province of Chongqing. Chongqing itself has probably nine or 10 million people. But this city actually is the third largest city in, in China. 
and it has, I think, the third longest river, which is the Pearl River. So much to do here. I've been researching the past couple of days, and I'm like, which place do I pick? Which do I, which, which one do I pick? So I, I thought I'd take uh, some of the suggestions about the dim sun, and then also go to the uh, Canton or Canton. I think it's, I forget how it's pronounced. Uh, the the, uh, the big structure out there that I showed you earlier. It's an amazing place. It's hot. It's really hot because it's closer to the coast. So they got a little more, uh, and Chongqing is hot itself, but this place is, uh, Guangzhou is, is a hot destination. So if you come out here in the summer, just be prepared for some major heat. Probably best time to come out from what I read is like uh, October, November, December, and then maybe like March, April-ish. That would probably would be as uh, as hot then. So, actually, Sway Sway just called me. Let me call her back. She's jealous. She is so jealous right now. Let me call her. That sweet little thing. She's so sweet. I'll have to tell you what she did after uh, after I get off the call. So I'm going to video conference call her. She's gonna be laughing at me because I've got a camera and I'm sitting in a booth myself. Hello. <laughs> huh? I that's I'm at the booth. I want to eat your food. You, she says she wants to eat my food. I'll bring some. Well, uh, well, well dung, Tom. And, ah, wait, well, here it comes. No, it's not coming. I'm wet. Uh, well, well dung. Uh, how? Are you okay? I'm okay. Uh, eat Indian life. Eat Indian life. Hello, American people. Hello, American people. Mm, I miss you. I miss you too, baby. You're cute. Mm. Nika, I. Yes, I know. I mean, I'm at home. you not at home. I'm sad. Oh, she said she's sad, guys. So then you are happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, Guangzhou is nice. Yeah, Guangzhou, uh, Hengzhi, Jintian Hengzhi. She's, <laughs> she says she's hungry. I'm hungry. I know you are. I know you are. Uh, Chongqing, Yeah, Chongqing ma. No, Guangzhou. have many. Five, six, or seven restaurants. Wait, wait. Yifen Zhong, Yifen Zhong, Kan. So, Ming Zi Juga. This is Cha Cha Huang. Okay. This is Feng Zhuang. All right, chicken feet. This is Jin Qian Du. Ah. How are you so my father? Ah. You're so with the father? Yeah. Hand door. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> I know you want to eat it. Do you want to watch? Huh? Try it? All right. Here we go. How true. Mm. Oh yeah, Fei Cheng Hao Chia. This is. <laughs> She's jealous. She's giving me the evil eye. Oh. You should say, "Not good." Fei Hao Chia. Mmm, 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 mmm. You try the second. What? I get Zalai? All right. Um, 
Another one? Okay. <laughs> that's that's hold on guys. How true? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She wants me to try the next one. She's hating this. Alright, I don't know what this is. Just a shema. Ah, has shrimp in it. It's like a shrimp dumpling. Yeah, oh God, this is so good. <laughs> Next, chicken feet. Yeah, uh, since I tai zhe. Mm. Well, she's licking her chops. This is probably the best chicken feet I've ever had. I mean, by far. I know you like it. You're crazy? I'm crying. Oh, you're crying. I'm sorry. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. Love you. I love you, too. Okay. Bye-bye. So there you go. So let me do, uh, do you a favor. I know it's, it's like teasing you. Uh, on the food that I'm eating. So let me give you some close-up shots. So that there is, it's got shrimp in it. And I'll have to get from Tsui Tsui what this, I don't know if this is a meat, I'm not for sure, but it is super tasty. And it's got like a peanut butter sauce, kind of sweet, a little soy sauce there. And then that is like a shrimp dumpling. Super tasty, and I believe that is cow stomach or intestine. I'll get clarification from Tsui Tsui. And then of course, chicken feet. I mean, you just, you're by far the best dim sum I've had. Last time I had it was probably four or five years ago in Houston. It was good, but I don't remember it being this good. So what I'm gonna do for now is shut it off, finish it up. I'll show you the tab. So 150 kwai, so that's 14, that's about uh, 20 something dollars, US dollars. So I'll post the exact amount. But for all that food, one piece left, 150. Let's, which is kind of expensive for one person here in China, but 20 bucks for a meal in the West is not a whole lot. And there we go. 150. All right. 谢谢. 谢谢, 再见.